What's up, WWE Universe? My name is Rain, and welcome to WWE What If. In this episode, we're going to talk about my top five picks for the 2020 WWE Draft. But before everything else, I'm going to ask you guys to please hit that like button for me. It's not going to cost you anything. It's free, but it's going to help me out. Thank you so much in advance. Now, I would also ask for you guys to post your top five picks for this year's draft. And without further ado, let me start off with my number five pick, and it's Lacey Evans. Now, I think Lacey Evans would bring something good into the Raw women's division. I know we have this Oscar versus Zelina Vega storyline right now, and whatever happens to that, I think Lacey Evans would actually be a good competitor to either Asuka or Zelina Vega. And especially to Zelina Vega, because Zelina can also do the trash talk. So could you imagine Lacey Evans and Zelina Vega just talking trash to each other and also battling each other in the ring? That kind of sounds cool, right? My fourth pick is Peyton Royce. Now I know it's been heartbreaking to see the Iconics kind of go their own ways, but maybe this is the time we're in. A brand separation would also benefit not just Peyton Royce, but also Billy Kay. Now, um, since Peyton Royce is my pick to go to Friday Night SmackDown, I think that Mandy Rose moving to Monday Night Raw Peyton Royce would have that spotlight that she deserves as a singles competitor every Friday night on SmackDown. So maybe that would help her kind of boost her, her character into a, into a um, competitor for the Women's Championship after Sasha and Bayley are done fighting each other. Who knows, but I, I can kind of see that happening. My third pick is Kevin. Owens. Now I know we have this storyline between KO and Aleister Black. However, KO has been infected by the Fiend. And what would be more terrifying for Kevin Owens than, than him moving to SmackDown, being on the same brand as Bray Wyatt? The Fiend. So I cannot wait for either Kevin Owens to go to SmackDown, which I think would, would be more likely, or maybe Bray Wyatt going to Raw. My second pick is Braun Strowman. I know we've seen a lot of Braun Strowman on Monday Night Raw, especially on Raw Underground as well. So I think this is a good opportunity to finally make it official. And, and make Braun Strowman a Raw superstar again. Now, for my number one pick for the 2020 WWE Draft, it's the Viper, it's the legend killer, Randy Orton. I know if you guys have seen my past videos, I've said it many times that it's time for Randy Orton to win another championship and it hasn't happened yet. So maybe a move to Friday Night Smackdown would make that possible for the legend killer. And maybe once Randy Orton is on Friday Night Smackdown, he will find his way to dethrone the tribal chief, Roman Reigns. Now, what do you guys think? Post your comments down below and please hit like, share, and subscribe to my videos. Also, if you haven't yet, follow me on Instagram at WWE What If or on Twitter at WWE underscore What If. You guys, don't forget to post your top five picks for the WWE Draft and I will see you all again next time. TTYL, Jabronis.